Hi there, Stephanie here from Simply On Demand. And today I want to show you how to create an image with a background that's exactly the same as the foreground that adds both depth as well as emphasis to whatever it is that you're showing. As you can see on the screen, I have already done so, and I will just simply show you what I have done. So uh, let's open a new page. On the side menu over here, we go to elements. And when we're at the top where it would normally open, it shows us everything. Scroll down to where you get grids and you simply snap a grid into place. Going back to photographs, let's go back to the lady that I have over there. And there she is. So we take her, we pick her up with our mouse and we drag her across until she snaps in place. Double click on it and you can now move her around. Um, because we want to create an image over an image like that, we click it so that we have got her highlighted and on the plus, side, plus sign over here to duplicate. So we take, or no, that's not what I did the first time. Let's not get ahead of ourselves over here. So you can see there she is over there. So what I've done is I have, I then went ahead and clicked on her image again. And now you can see it's not snapped into place as the previous one. So what I want to do is I want to remove the background on the, on the, on the front image. So Click on it, highlight it, so you can see it's got the blue line on the side, on, uh, on the outside. Go to Effects and click on Background Remover. Now remember, Background Remover is a Pro feature. If you don't have Canva Pro, you can still remove the background. You'll have to go to the website called remove.bg, where you will upload your image that you want to have the background removed of, and then you simply click on remove the background, whatever it says, and you can then download it and then upload it to Canva as a new image. So now you can see that we have done that over here. Now remember, the background, the back image is not locked in place. So what will happen is if I move, click on this, and hold the mouse button down and drag it anywhere on the image itself, it's going to automatically snap in place where the grid is. As you can see, that's what happened over there, which is not what we want to do. So click on undo. So what we need to do is finish what we need, what we want to do on the background image. So now we want to make it a little bit receding to almost create like a shadow. So click on the back image and then do the transparency. Now you can set it to any percentage transparency that you want by moving the bar over here. I want to do that on 50% and as you can see, that's where we land up. Now, in order to make sure that we are not going to move this forefront picture, and snap it into place where the background is, we click on the lock over here and we lock it in place. Now, when I click on the front picture and I move it around, it certainly does not lock in place. Something else as well that I believe you can use and I've not used, I've not tested it. Let's do that. I'm going to unlock it. Then I'm going to hold down the Alt key while I move the front one around and it actually copies it as well, which is not what I want to do. But I, I guess then it doesn't snap into place. So you can just have more than one then. But let's lock it. And now we can make her any size. Oops. We can now make her any size we want and position her so that she's not quite covering herself in the background. And there you have it. Now to emphasize an, an image that gives a message. 
as well as branding it for yourself with your font, your brand elements, um, the colors, you can put your um, URL on here. Now, remember another shortcut, if you want to add a text box, you simply click on T and then you can on demand.net, that's my web address and change the, um, the font and then you can move that to wherever it is that you want to move it to. And there you have it. Emphasize a message on an image by creating a background that is faded, made transparent, with the foreground still as it is, playing with size, adding your own elements around it as well to personalize it for yourself. If there are any questions, please don't hesitate to ask. I'm happy to answer them for you, whatever it is that you have. So all the best, take care and enjoy your playing around.